Hey, y'all, it's your boy, Kenzie, and um, you're now tuned in to Beauty with Kenzie. And today, we're going to be doing a hair review. This is a sponsorship video. Um, this video is sponsored by Tanache Hair. They sent me a um, Body Wave 28-inch um, HD frontal. I mean, get into the length. The length is everything. I love a good 28-inch. Um, and look how bouncy the curls are. Um... Yeah, let's get straight to it. So, um, upon unpacking, this is what I received. Um, it came in this cute little silk bag and then accompanied with, you know, the little flyer, a wig cap, a really, really cute headband, as well as a bonnet. Which I love when they give us a bonnet, because girl, what am I going to wrap my hair up in when she glued, glued down? I just don't want her on my neck, so... And as y'all can see, here go me unpackaging the actual um, wig. It is so gorgeous. It's full. The hair feels amazing. Um, yeah, again, this is 28 inches. Get into this lace. I love that it's pre-plucked. I can tell this is going to melt on my skin very, very, very well. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to waste too much time on style. I just want to get straight into installing. And today we're going to be going in with our Bold Hold Active. Y'all know me. I only use bow hold glue. Today we're gonna also be going in with the bow hold lace tint. Um, this is gonna also be another good thing that help me really melt that lace because you wanna make sure you get that lace as close to your skin complexion as possible and a good tint as in it, you know, as well as your makeup or whatever products you're using helps as well. So yeah, this is me just kind of, you know, you know, getting into her, seeing what she gives, which I love. I love um, the sleekness. I wanted real effortless hair today. You know, just real natural, real effortless, real, you know what I'm saying? Just real cunt. And, and I definitely feel like this install, um, the way I styled it, did that. So, um, yeah. I'm not going to spend too much time talking. We'll get straight to the install. Today, we're not doing a wig cap. Only because I did want to show you guys out there who did know that a wig cap is not necessarily mandatory. For certain looks, it's, it, I would recommend it. But, like, girl, since I got a big forehead, if you blessed to have a big forehead like me, girl, you're going to love wearing wigs. Because you got room to install. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, <laughs> you know. As you can see, I'm going in with my lace tint in dark brown, and I'm just spraying her along that hairline. I sprayed her on your good girl, and then what I did was I was bold enough to let her um, dry, blow dry her, dry her down. Um, you do not want to install no wet lace onto your forehead, but let it dry so that you can really clock the color that it is, so you can determine if you need to go in with another layer or not. I didn't need to go in with another layer because, <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be installing my unit in sections. I realize when you kind of oh, get into that lane, where is the lane? I don't even know where the lane is. <laughs> but, yeah, oh, my gosh, I really enjoyed this install, you guys. And you, as you can see, it looked like I have a cap under when I don't because I did go in with my foundation off of camera. Um, I had lost some footage doing this video, y'all, so please don't hate me because me doing my baby hairs is not on camera, but it's pretty much the same shit, bitch. Um, but yeah, so right now we're going in with a my first layer of bold hole, and as y'all can see, I'm wiping her, I mean, um, I'm flattening her, you know, spreading her out or whatever with my finger. I just, I found out that the finger can help you really get in there and just, you know, of course, clean her in between layers because here go my second layer after it dries. As y'all can see, it's completely dry. You got to make sure you let it dry because you do not want your lace glue coming through the lace. And that's not going to give scalp girl. So, make, please make sure you let your glue dry. So, yeah, take your time, ladies. We're not in no rush. Because when you just start rushing, that's when it just don't hit the way it needs to. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Okay, be up there she goes. She's ready to go in. Bow, we laid her down. Basically, make sure you want to put your hairline. Whatever you do, do not put it behind the glue. You can even put it a little bit in front of the glue. 
That way you can just add a little bits and pieces of the glue or whatever. You see how I'm pulling it in front of that glue? Definitely make sure that your hairline is, is in front of that glue. So that way she can really like So yeah, as you land it down, make sure you kind of take the comb and press it in as well so that way it can stick. You don't want to do all that glue laying. And then by the time you put your lace down, you don't want to put your lace on there good to where it don't stick. Make sure you put that lace in there good. And like I told y'all, it's okay to move the lace a little bit before because like y'all just seen, I put a little bit of glue on my hand, went in with the ending of the rat tail comb and just dab a little, little, little dot or two right there. And that's going to kind of help seal down all the parts that needs to be sealed, if that makes sense. And then we're just going to kind of do the same thing we did on the other side. We're going to go in with two layers. Um, we're going to make sure they're dry before we continue. Um, and while that side is drying, I went ahead and I went on my other side in the least just so they can kind of start drying together. Um, clip the hair, the lace back because you do not want your lace to get in the glue. Like even if it's just in the way prior to you like, you know what I'm saying? Prior to it drying because that glue is going to show. So that's why I just pin her back. As y'all can see, I got a little makeup wipe. You know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta wipe a little makeup off, a little excess product or whatever. Um, you can use a makeup wipe or just use some alcohol in a towel or something. But yeah, like I told y'all, make sure it's in front. Girl, you gotta really tug and play with her sometimes. I end up cutting off that lace in the back off camera. I know I should've did it before, but I don't really know why the lace be in the back because it don't be that much lace, but it'd be cute though. This wig actually fits very good construction wise. There is a band in the back, which I really appreciate. Um, yeah, and as y'all can see, I'm just really customizing my ear tab to get that right. It's pretty much the same T on both sides. Yeah, you, you see that y'all had to really kind of snip her a little bit. Um, yeah, so she can kind of sit the way she needs to because mama wasn't sitting. And then we're going to cut, um, go in with the lace cutting. This is where I kind of lost a little bit of footage, unfortunately, y'all. Um, yeah. I lost the lace cutting, but all I did was cut off the lace. Um, I got as close to the edge as I could, and then I sprayed it with the layer of Got To Be Free spray, and I tied it down. When you spray it with Got To Be Free spray, it really helped the edges of the lace lay completely flat, so that way you can't detect where she's at. You know, so definitely make sure you tie her to see. Yeah. Yeah. And this is really good because I didn't go in with no cleaning products. I ain't cleaned her. I ain't touched her up yet. You know what I mean? And then I did go in with some more foundation along the edges of that lace to blend up my forehead as well as the lace a little more. But in all in all, this is an amazing wig. I don't even like black hair on me, but it looks so natural to where I just can't help but love it. Um, Tanasha hair, I definitely give a thumbs up because the wig is just so well constructed and the lace melts so well. This is not no cheap lace or, you know, just some laces like Tim's thick and ugly color. No, it's a good, nice little HD lace. And um, look how moldy, like look how, yeah, like get into it. Um, I'm gonna leave all the information below in the description. This is where I lost the footage, which is not pretty bad because everything was pretty much done. And then there she goes. Yeah, so I love it. It's soft curls. Um, it's just an amazing look. I just wanna give another special shout out to Tanache here. I love my wig, you guys. Thank you. Um.